It wasn't his fault. He was just nervous about... Hey! <laughs> you are a stinker. Hold on. What the heck are you doing in there, Clyde? Can you even get yourself out? Standing in your feeder. Clyde, you are a troublemaker. Can you get yourself out of there? Oh. You're in goat jail. You're in goat jail. It's kind of drizzly right now. Maybe Clyde likes it under there. He's nice and dry and he has easy access to all the food. If he is stuck though, he can't get any water so I'm going to have to try and get him out. I'll know that he wasn't really stuck if he jumps out on his own after I move that feed station out of the way.
jacket. Hey. Yes. Yes. Go pushers. Clyde clobbered me pretty good there. It wasn't his fault. He was just nervous about... Hey! <laughs> you are a stinker. Hold on. Back up a little bit here so I can... <laughs> it really wasn't Clyde's fault. He was just nervous about me picking him up and my face was a little too close to his head. Let's take another look at that in slow motion this time. It's been more than a week since Clyde first figured out how to get into the feeder, and now he's doing it all the time. <laughs> Trust me, he's in there. You probably just can't see him through all the other goats. We haven't seen him get into the feeder, but Wendy has seen him get out on his own, so at least I don't have to worry about lifting him out every time I see him in there. Needless to say, it would be better if we didn't have a goat standing in the feeder with his excrement falling right where the food goes. He got out on one of the ends, so we figured that's probably how he's getting in. I'm gonna try and attach some... I'm gonna try and attach some boards to the ends to block his access. I had the boards clamped into place so I could mark where they needed to be cut before I screw them on but the goats are not being too cooperative. So I'm gonna to have to go back in there, clamp it again, and then draw my lines. I wanted to use the V formation to provide maximum access to the feeder tray down below and the maximum blockage up above where Clyde has been getting in and out. Hopefully it'll be just enough to make it a little, little tough for him, maybe not quite so worth his while to try and jump into the feeder. Only time will tell. Good 
This is to keep you out, Clyde. This is all to keep you out, Clyde. None of our does have been getting in their feeder, so I don't need to attach any extra boards to this one. Stormtrooper is a weathered male and he lives over here with the does. We have noticed from time to time that he can get up on top of this feed station. I'm not worried about it. The plywood top is designed to be sturdy enough to handle it. One thing we'll have to know though is not to place this feed station too close to the perimeter fence. If he got on top and then jumped over the fence, that would be a problem. <clears throat> Stormtrooper is by no means one of our larger goats, but he is one of our best jumpers. It just goes to show, it's not about the size of the goat in the jump. It's all about the size of the jump in the goat. For an end to this video, let's take a look back at when Stormtrooper was just a baby. No. One more try, Trooper, you can do it. There you go. Who's king of the windy? <laughs> it's a massage. <laughs> it's a goat massage. Bad goat. You're gonna be a bad influence on your sister too. <laughs> <laughs> 